welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping. My name is Kasha, I am your host, and in today's video I am going to share with you a new piece of equipment that I got all the way back in April, but um, I, I kind of forgot that I had it. And I have a good excuse, I have a good excuse. That was during the time that Banana got attacked by a Great Dane, it was really upsetting. If you want to know more information about that, I will link a video down below, but I got so distracted with, with taking care of Banana that I completely forgot that I got this microscope. And you might be wondering, Kasha, why are you getting a microscope for your fish room? That is because I want to really improve the animal husbandry as well as be able to better identify diseases as well as work with my um, fish vet because he is not local to me. So anytime I need to show him something that is happening in my fish room, I need to be able to better collect data to present to him so he can help me identify um, what is wrong and also the correct treatment. Although I do try my best to not only learn how to identify and treat diseases myself, I am not a veterinarian so therefore you know I have my limitations but I am trying my very best to improve it. When you are identifying diseases in your fish some stuff is easily visible to the naked eye. For example, Popeye, where either one or both eyes are visibly uh, protruding out of the fish's face. You can identify that just by looking at your fish. But there's other things, um, let me show you. For example, such as skin fluke, which is a type of parasite, which you can only see under a microscope. So it would be very difficult to really diagnose correctly your fish unless you're able to see them. And here are two examples in two different books. You can see what a skin fluke looks like, some examples as well as more information and pretty much how they uh, live, their life cycle. It's very important to learn this kind of stuff, but if you don't want to figure this out yourself, you can also use a microscope to either take photos or video for the fish vet that is you know local to you, that you are working with, any type of professional pretty much that is in the veterinary hobby that is experienced preferably with uh, freshwater fish will be able to help you identify what is wrong with your fish when looking under a microscope if that is something you're not familiar with. In my case, I'm brand new to all this. This is a whole new world to me, so I definitely need help myself. Uh, the two books that I, I kind of refer to which are my kind of basis of fish health, would be the Manual of Fish Health, right over here, and also the Koi Health and Disease book, which is by Eric, uh, Dr. Eric Johnson. Um, this book, even though it mentions koi, it actually applies to a lot of um, freshwater fish, and it was one of my first uh, fish health books, and this was my second one. So I definitely recommend these books if you are interested in learning more about fish diseases, and I definitely recommend that you find a local fish vet or someone it doesn't you know if you can't find someone local try to find someone in another state that might be willing uh, to work with you to help you identify different diseases in your fish room and speaking of identifying diseases I have super super exciting news for you dr. Eric Johnson made a tutorial on how to use the specific microscope that I got as well as how to take skin scrapes and do biopsies. This is a wonderful free resource from a professional. So here is the microscope that I ended up getting. This was per Dr. Eric Johnson's recommendation because he wanted me to get something simple to use that will very easily capture video as well as photos and will be not too pricey. So this is definitely a good budget microscope that you know if you're a beginner and you're starting out just like me and you don't want to spend a lot of money this I think will be really really great if you're kind of more serious and want to get something fancier definitely go right ahead but here let's take a look at this little guy and all little doohickeys that come with it and I'm, I'm just excited overall I've never had a microscope I feel like a fancy scientist now and I'm stepping up my game as a fish keeper and it's, it's super exciting. I will also have a link, an Amazon affiliate link down below if you would like to purchase the same microscope that I am unboxing right now. So that will be in the description as well as the link to Dr. Eric Johnson's tutorial as well. One of the cool things about this microscope is it does come with different outlets. So if you are in um, 
overseas in Europe or if you're in North America, there's different plugs so you don't have to worry about getting an adapter. It also comes with some sample slides that here I am struggling to open, a slip cover, a memory card, and some cables to be able to connect it to a screen. Overall, the microscope is pretty heavy and it's solidly built. I mean, I, I, it feels it's pretty legit. I'm not an expert on microscopes, but so far, so good. And I am very, very much excited. So this is what the microscope looks like from all different angles. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I haven't turned it on yet, but I definitely want to try out the sample slides that they provide us with so I can kind of practice using it and get, kind of get a hang of it, get a good feel, and there it goes. It's spinning. These are the sample slides that are provided. These are kind of fun because if you're curious at how things look like under a microscope, you already right off the bat have some specific things to look at. You can definitely kind of use this to practice so you can get uh, better at using your microscope. And if you have kids, this is kind of a fun thing you guys can share and look at together and make it into a fun science project. So I'm really glad that they kind of included that. I wonder if all microscopes include it. Ooh, now it's time to peel off the tape. Super satisfying, did not have to include it, but I enjoy it, so there it is, boop. Now, I'm not gonna review this just yet because I do have to get a little bit of experience using this and kind of see how it works, if it's easy to use, but here's my very first look, just trying it off right off the bat. I didn't really watch the tutorials yet from Dr. Eric Johnson, so this is how I figured it out all by myself. And it's actually quite simple to use, and it's actually pretty, pretty nifty. I'm, I'm super excited. There is still a lot for me to learn, but I am definitely entering the realm of the microscopic critters, and it is super cool. Super cool! I would definitely like to know in the comments below if you have ever used a microscope for your fish room, or after this video, if that is something you would be interested in trying. I'm super excited to dive into the world of microscopic critters, and I hope that you will be too. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, as well as subscribe to this channel if you already haven't, because I really want you to hang out with me on our fish adventures, because it's a lot of fun. But that being said, I hope you have a really lovely day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Hello and welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping. My name is Kasha, I am your host, and I just realized that Littlefoot is just creepily gonna, gonna watch as, okay. So, quick backstory. I'm gonna get a little closer because I have the fan on. I hope you can't hear the fan. We're gonna derail this topic for a sec, but I need to tell you, it's very important. So, first of all, it's, it's really hot. That's why I have the fan on. I'm dying. It's like 80, 30 degrees in here. But, but, so I was recording this video earlier and I started my intro for this video and then Littlefoot, as always, came and was meowing and being cute because as soon as I turn on the camera, she wants to get involved. And um, so after a while, I was like, it's a little distracting. Let me take you out to the living room. And so I put her in her little cat tree. I walked away and I guess she came back and she's just gonna lay there and give me the evil eye for the duration of the video. I feel very judged.